Hey, what's up? Tony here from Paradise Garage. And in this video, you're gonna learn how to prep aluminum parts. So we're gonna be doing the aluminum rims on here, uh, this part of the bike, okay? A lot of different pieces. It doesn't have to be rims. It could be body parts, cars, hoods, whatever. Uh, and you're gonna wanna make sure to spray these things with an epoxy primer to seal it. And then you're gonna put a 2K filler primer on top of that. So watch this video, comment down below. Let me know if you liked it. And uh, we got tons of pieces of this project coming out very, very shortly. So I hope you enjoy, keep watching. So this is a two to one mixture epoxy primer and about 10, 12% of reducer, okay? And the reason why we're putting more, you know, a little bit more reducer than normal is because we're spraying it out of a 1.4 tip, okay? Epoxy primers, filler primers, you know, should really be sprayed out of a 1.8 to a 2.0 tip because it's a thicker substance thicker material and you want to get it on the panel okay um, <clears throat> but you can spray it out of a 1.3 or 1.4 tip size if you reduce it okay you're just gonna have to make the material thinner and then give it a couple extra coats here we're not you know we're not doing too much we're just spraying a couple metal pieces here some aluminum hanging out uh, of our rims and we just want to put some epoxy primer on it then we're gonna actually put some 2k filler primer on that right after we do this and let it uh, set and dry. So this is pretty much mixed up and I wanna kinda show you uh, a trick here on how to gauge thickness and how to look for thickness. It's important to do this even if you're a newbie um, because you start to learn uh, the paint and, and to see how it drips. So it's super important. My dad taught me this when I was 13 years old when I first started painting is while you're, while you're mixing the paint, if it's too thick, it'll, it'll literally like gum up at the end of the stick here, but it's dripping really nicely. Kind of like a, almost like a one, two, three. One, two, this is actually thinned out really well um, for a thinned out primer, whether it's epoxy or filler. If it's too thin, you'll see that, you can see right through to the stick that means you really know you screwed up, you know, because you do want some substance and thickness uh, when it comes to your primers. So this is actually a good thickness, I believe, um, to spray out of a 1.3, 1.4. Let's show you how it looks um, spraying it on. Let's put our cap on. Hey, and as far as the screen, I normally leave the screen in. It doesn't hurt flow or anything, um, unless you're spraying clear coat with metal flake in it or uh, getting into custom stuff. So custom stuff, I'll cut the screen out, 
for stuff like this or regular base coats, it doesn't hurt to leave it. So let's go ahead and tack rag our pieces down. And I showed you how to tack rag, right? I told you to open it all the way up, okay? Um, to get the maximum benefit. And then you just squash it up like that, okay? Not too hard and you just tack it, okay? Just store it away. Okay. Store it away so you could use it again. Super simple. We got our gun ready. Uh, my hands are a little bit sticky right now because of the tack rag. I want to just squirt some wax and grease remover on my hands quick. Again, you should be using gloves. I'll be putting some gloves on right now. All right, so I hope you learned a lot during this little mini segment. Comment below, let me know what you think, and if you wanna see other kinds of videos, just let me know. We have a lot more content on this bike project coming out soon, so stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't. If you wanna learn auto body, step-by-step -step auto body, don't forget to click over here on the video to get that free auto body training. You can do this uh, from your home garage for wherever you are. You could bang out amazing custom finishes. Uh, check out this little helmet that I did for my daughter. Uh, recently. Super, super cool. Anyway, it's Tony here. Talk to you soon. Have a good day. Bye.